Okay, we're asked to find the positive root of this equation using Newton's method. Uh, if you picture this as 4 sine x minus x squared equals 0, uh, then you can write a function like this, f of x equals 4 sine of x minus x squared. And if you wanted to graph it, you'd get a graph that looks something like this. But if we're going to use Newton's method, which is listed right down here from Paul's online notes, uh, successive approximations are given by the previous approximation minus f of the previous approximation over f prime of the previous approximation. So one of the questions you might ask is, how do we know where to start? And if we go to board three, you'll see that there's no general answer to that. Sometimes you can graph the function, see where it crosses the x-axis. Um, you can try some different values of the function, like back here on board one, I tried f of one and f of two, and I saw it went from a positive y value to a negative y value, which means that the graph must cross the x-axis between one and two, intermediate value theorem, since this is a continuous function. Anyway, here's what it looks like. Uh, I chose the initial guess as two, and then use this method right here to calculate successive approximations until they started repeating. Well, it looks like to six decimal places, one, two, three, four, five, six, I could round that to five, four, and round that to five, four. So 1.933754 would be your answer, okay? Uh, that would be pretty tedious to do one at a time by calculator. Might be better to use an online tool that actually does the calculations for you. Here we've got the original function. Here we've got the derivative. And here we've got Newton's method defined. X minus the original function divided by the derivative of the function. And then... We do excessive, successive approximations until the digits start repeating. This site actually will take you out to like 10 decimal places. Okay, so there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.